Now, a man in Corpus Christi, Texas, had to undergo life-saving surgeries uh, to save his life after contracting a flesh-eating bacterium known as vibriosis. Um, it says here, Adam Perez, 42, said he dipped his toes into the ocean near Water's Edge Park by downtown Corpus Christi, and his right foot and leg began to s start swelling soon thereafter. Perez was diagnosed with vibriosis and told his life was at risk if he didn't undergo surgery. Uh, so Perez said he didn't have any open wounds at the time, which Vibrio bacteria typically use as entry into the body, but his right toe was infected with fungus, creating an opening between his skin and toenail. So doctors prescribed him antibiotics, but the swelling did not subsist after several days and a giant blister formed on his foot, Perez said. He was rushed to the emergency room, diagnosed with vibriosis, and he had to have surgery. Four surgeries later, the majority of the flesh on his right leg has been removed, as well as the threat to his life. He says, I'm not going to be the same anymore, he, he said. I know I'm not going to walk normal. Perez said his difficulties were hardly over. Homeless prior to this diagnosis, Perez said he will likely return to the streets after he's discharged from the hospital. And just to give you a, a, a feel for what happened to Mr. Perez, here's a picture of his foot, and you can see the giant blister there. And here's a more close-up one um, caused by the vibriosis. And then just the post uh, after the surgeries, he had a lot of uh, skin and flesh removed. So, yeah. Serious, serious stuff. Now, the CDC estimates that 80,000 people become sick with vibriosis annually in the United States, and about 100 people die. Now, when they say 80,000 people become sick with vibriosis, it's a, a variety of vibrio species. Uh, and some of those are something I'm going to focus on today is uh, vibrio vulnificus. Now, there's certain people that have higher risk of having severe disease. And the CDC says anyone can get sick from vibriosis, but you may be more likely to get an infection or severe complications if you have liver disease, cancer, diabetes, HIV, or thalassemia. If you're receiving immunosuppressing therapy for the treatment of disease, if you take medicine to decrease stomach acid levels, or if you've recently had stomach surgery. So, if you have any of these underlying conditions, you're much more at risk for severe complications with uh, a Vibrio bacteria. And it says, don't chance it. Some Vibrio species, such as Vibrio vulnificus, can cause particularly severe and life-threatening infections. And we will touch that on that in a moment. Then, you know, in addition to uh, wounds, your wounds being exposed to the brackish and the salt water um, where the vibrio may uh, reside. Uh, eating raw oysters um, is a common cause of vibrio vulnificus infection. Eating raw oysters and other undercooked seafood can put you at risk for infections, including vibriosis. Vibrio bacteria naturally inhabit coastal waters where oysters live. Because oysters feed by filtering water, bacteria can concentrate in their tissues. When someone eats raw or undercooked oysters, viruses or bacteria that may be in the oyster can cause illness. And it goes on to say, most Vibrio infections from oysters result in only diarrhea and vomiting. However, some infections, such as those caused by Vibrio vulnificus, can cause much more severe illness, including bloodstream infections, and severe blistering skin infections. Uh, now this information is from the Florida Department of Health and here in the state of Florida we see dozens of Vibrio vulnificus cases every year, particularly in the summertime, and usually a handful of deaths. So very, very serious stuff. And it says here, what type of illness is Vibrio vulnificus cause? Well, it says, um, 
Ingestion of Vibrio vulnificus can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Vibrio vulnificus can also cause an infection of the skin when open wounds are exposed to warm seawater. These infections may lead to skin breakdown and ulcers. Healthy individuals typically develop a mild disease. However, Vibrio vulnificus infections can be a serious concern for people who have weakened immune systems, particularly those with chronic liver disease. The bacterium can invade the bloodstream, causing a severe and life-threatening illness with symptoms like fever, chills, decreased blood pressure, septic shock, and blistering skin lesions. Vibrio vulnificus bloodstream infections are fatal about 50% of the time. A recent study showed that people with these pre-existing medical conditions were 80 times more likely to develop Vibrio vulnificus bloodstream infections than healthy people. Um, and then concerning treatment, it says, if Vibrio vulnificus is suspected, treatment should be initiated immediately because antibiotics improve survival. Aggressive attention should be given to wound site. For patients with wound infections, amputation of the infected limb is sometimes necessary. So let's boil it all down. How do you prevent getting in this situation to begin with? particularly if you have one of these underlying conditions. Um, do not eat raw oysters or other raw shellfish. Cook shellfish, oysters, clams, and mussels thoroughly. Avoid cross-contamination of cooked seafood and other foods with raw seafood and juices from raw seafood. Avoid exposure of open wounds or broken skin to water, salt, or brackish water or to raw shellfish harvested from such waters. And if you're shucking the oysters and the other seafood, wear protective clothing like gloves when handling the raw shellfish. So it is, uh, it is warm out and we're gonna start seeing more of these cases, uh, undoubtedly, um, particularly in the, around the Gulf Coast areas. So uh, keep an eye on that, um, help us out you know, like the, like the um, video, give us a comment, and of course, you can always subscribe to the page. And I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next Infectious Disease News Brief. And don't forget to check us out at the website, OutbreakNewsToday.com, the podcast, Outbreak News Interviews, which can be found on the website, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Spotify. And the Outbreak News This Week radio show, which is aired Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time in the Tampa Bay area on AM 1380 The Biz or online streaming at 1380thebiz.com. And check out our social media presence, Facebook at Infectious Disease News and Twitter at BackDman63. Outbreak News TV is a production of The Global Dispatch. Copyright The Global Dispatch Incorporated 2019.